Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I'm a second year vet student and welcome to vet school finals. So it is currently Monday, April 5th and I have my first final of second year in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to write that and then I will catch up with you after and explain what is happening in my life for the next couple weeks. Hi, future Amanda here. I'm realizing that I never actually broke down what my exam schedule was like. So for my first week of exams, I had my principles of surgery exam on Monday and then AVM on Wednesday. The second week we had pod Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the third week we had Thurio on Monday, health management on Wednesday and anesthesia and pharmacology on Friday. So that's the exam week you're about to see over the next two videos. Now let's get back to principles of surgery. I just finished writing our surgery final and it went really well. Principles of Surgery was a course that I felt really prepared for and really good about throughout the year. It was one of the courses that was super hands-on and where we actually got to go to campus and practice some of the skills that we were learning in the course. We had our famous Daisy Spay Lab and we also had the opportunity to practice a lot of our surgery and asepsis skills at home this year. Even before I started studying for this final, I felt really good about the content because it was stuff that we had been practicing throughout the entire year. So that is one final done, seven more to go. I'm actually gonna go take a break after I write any big final or any exam. I like to give myself a couple hours where I don't think about school whatsoever. So if you're watching this and you haven't taken a break recently, this is your reminder to get up, get outside, enjoy some fresh air, or do something that has nothing to do with studying at all. It is time to get back to studying. My plan for this afternoon is that I have a toxicology review session that I have to go to, and then I will check my study schedule and figure out what I should be studying this afternoon. In terms of how I'm actually studying for finals, it really does vary for certain courses. Some of them I make flashcard sets for, others I make study guides, and others I just read off the lecture slides. I have yet to find the perfect formula to study for vet school finals. The one thing that has been super helpful for me when trying to figure out a study schedule or trying to get through all the content is to actually make a Word document where I list every single lecture that I have for every single one of my courses. That way I can see how much content I have for each of my courses and allocate the appropriate study time depending on how many lectures I actually have to get through. I'm a very visual person so just seeing all the content in one document has made it really helpful for me to plan a study schedule and kind of stick to it. At the end of the day everyone is going to study differently in vet school. You just have to find what works best for you and what keeps you on track during such a busy time like final exams. So I just finished my toxicology review session and let me tell you I am stressed for pod. Pod, I don't know if I've mentioned it but that is my three-day final. It's for one course and we have three separate exams for it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of our second week of finals. It's known as one of the hardest courses in second year just because there is so much material and so much content that you need to cover before the final. So yeah, I'm a little bit stressed about that. I haven't studied a ton for it yet which I should probably get on so I'm going to stop stressing because I don't have time and I'm gonna get studying. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. I woke up early this morning and got a workout in because I have a lot of studying to get through today. So I thought I would get up and do something active because I will probably be sitting at my desk for the rest of the day. Study plan for today. I have a final exam tomorrow, but it's my client simulated interview for AVM, so I can't really prepare for it. I'll probably spend a couple hours before the exam tomorrow just going over the Calgary Cambridge guide, which is basically like a, a communication booklet on how to interact with clients and how to develop a relationship. But anyway, that will be a before the exam tomorrow problem. Today, however, I have to study for my principles of disease course. We have five different topics or units that were covered in our principles of disease course. I have already gone through one of them so far. The last two units that we did were our heaviest units, so I want to spend a good chunk of my time studying for those two. So I'm gonna try and get through the other two units that I have left today so that I can spend the rest of this week studying studying my parasitology and bacteriology units because those ones have the most information. But yeah, 
that's the plan. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna hopefully get through all of toxicology today and start on virology. It is a gorgeous day outside, so I'm really sad I have to sit at my desk, but <sighs> we're getting through it. <laughs> So for my study break today, I actually went to the garden center with my mom and I got a couple new plants. I've been wanting to get some house plants, but I am really bad with keeping plants alive. So I've been doing some research on like easy to keep plants. Um, and I found a couple that I think will hopefully stay alive with me taking care of them. But these are the plants that I ended up getting. This one here is my pothos plant. It's so pretty. And then this one here is a Monstera. So that was a fun little study break today. It was nice to just get out of the house. It is a gorgeous day outside today. So I've been trying to... What have I been trying to do? My brain just... I've been trying to enjoy the fresh air and I've been trying to get outside as much as possible. Now that I'm back, I have to finish filming a video for the Future Vet Club at the University of Guelph. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to film a day in the life video on their Instagram page. So I just finished filming that. I'm almost done editing and then I will send that off and get that done. And then time to get back to studying. I got through a decent amount of talks this morning. I think I only have two units left and then I'm gonna move on to virology. study update. It is taking me way longer than I thought to get through these lectures. Like I said, pod is such a content heavy course that there's just so much information and so much to know and I I already know I'm not going to know everything. Like I'm fully aware that there's no way all this information is going to stay in my brain, but it's just taking me way longer than I thought to get through it. Um, I'm behind in my study schedule. I made a like rough outline of what I should have done by what point and I'm behind like always. I feel like I'm always behind, but one day at a time. Keep telling myself, gonna get through it, it's gonna be okay. We're just gonna keep at it and hopefully get through this soon. Ugh, I finally finished toxicology. It is taking me so long to get through stuff and it's because literally every 10 seconds I get distracted. I read one slide and then I'm like, oh, <sighs> my brain is fried and we've only written one exam and I have seven more to go. Oh, it's gonna be a long two weeks. I'm gonna call it a night. I need to sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. It is day three of finals week. I have a final this afternoon, but I'm gonna head on over to Tim's, get some coffee because I have a lot of pod studying that I have to do today. So I'm gonna go get a coffee and then I will be right back. So I've gotten through half of my virology notes this morning, but I have my AVM exam in about an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for that. Our AVM exam this year is a client simulated interview. So we get to interact with an actor who is pretending to be a client and we go through whatever scenario they give us. The point of this exercise is to practice our client communication skills and to practice gathering a history when we're in exams with clients. We've done a couple of these throughout the year and now this is the one that we're being tested on. We're supposed to wear a lab coat for it, but I forgot my lab coat at school, so I'm gonna throw on a pair of scrubs and hope that that's fine. I just realized I also forgot my name tag at school, so that's good. Maybe I'll make a paper one or something. Real professional, welcome to vet school exams. So I found my name tag from my old job, so now I don't have to make a paper one, so that's great. Anyway, wish me luck. Scrubs on top, sweatpants on the bottom, perks of telemedicine. I just finished up with my client simulated interview. My client was super nice, so that made the process really smooth. I'm happy with how it went. Um, after I finished, I was like, oh crap, I forgot to ask a couple questions, but whatever, it was too late. So it is what it is, one down. Two down, two down now, um, six more to go. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Welcome to another long day of studying. Uh, I finished my exams for this week, 
So my next set of exams start on Monday and that is for my Principles of Disease course and that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So basically my next four days are just gonna be straight out studying for pod. Can't wait. Uh, I can feel myself getting really burnt out already and I've only written two exams. Uh, still six more to go. So that's, nah, that's not a good sign, but basically two more weeks now until I'm done. So let's just uh, get to studying and hope for the best. Hey guys, so it is much later on Thursday afternoon. I went for a walk earlier today, but I am realizing that it's taking me way longer to get through stuff than I had originally planned. I still have about 40 lectures to get through before, ideally before Sunday, because I would like to spend Sunday reviewing the entire course, but who knows if that's gonna happen with my time management. But yeah, we will see. It's dinner time now. I'm gonna pretend like I don't have a massive exam on Monday and try not to stress too much. Good morning. I am back in my bedroom for another day of studying. Today is Saturday morning, so T minus two days until the pod nightmare begins. Uh, I took most of Friday off. I took, I studied till about like 2.30 and then I took the rest of the afternoon and the night off. I was just not absorbing any information. I read over a slide 10 times and nothing sank in. So I was like, you know what? I need a break. I need to not look at notes anymore. So that's what I did. So I didn't film anything yesterday, I don't think. No, I don't think I did. Anyway, very much needed break. Might regret it later, but you know what? It's Saturday and I'm ready to get productive and to learn all about parasites and bacteria fun a few moments later i just had a rant slash panic session that turned into a motivational talk from some of my best friends in vet school i've said it in previous videos but for me it was so important finding such a supportive group of friends in my first year of vet school. They started off as my practice group members and then they honestly turned into some of the closest people in my life. That's been one of the challenges for me this year and with everything being online is that it's been hard not having my vet school support system so close and us only being able to talk over text or FaceTime. Even though my family and my boyfriend are incredibly supportive, there's just something about being in the vet program that you don't really understand until you've actually experienced it. You know, like my family can't relate to having to memorize hundreds of parasites and bacteria for a three-day pod exam. But my friends in the program, we're all going through it together. So we're all feeling the same emotions and we're all feeling that same stress. And there's just something about going through that together that really makes me feel better knowing that I'm not the only one stressing about this exam. So I don't really know where I was going with this, but I just wanted to give a shout out to my girls and my best friends in the program. I honestly, oh my God, I wouldn't be able to get through vet school without them. I really wouldn't. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to stress about pod with anyone else. Anyway, this kind of got off on a tangent, but I'm taking a study break now, uh, even though I am feeling a little bit stressed, but I'm going to go take a lunch break. And if you haven't told your friends today that you love them, make sure you go tell them that right now. How am I supposed to memorize this parasite when I can't even pronounce its name? Hello, good morning. It is officially 24 hours until the first day of pod, so I am a little bit terrified, I'm not gonna lie. But the plan for today is that I have about 10 lectures I need to get through before I've gone through all the content once. So I'm hoping to get that done by about lunchtime today so that this afternoon and tonight I can just focus on things that I really want to review or things that I don't feel super confident in, so like the entire virology unit. But then that way, hopefully I can go into tomorrow feeling somewhat confident and somewhat prepared. So that's the plan. I'm gonna stop talking because I still clearly have a lot to do. So let's get to it. Look at that, all of pod done. So I've officially gotten through all of pod once. I need to go back this afternoon and review all of virology because I really don't remember any of that. I'm gonna go take a lunch break and then I will do more studying for the rest of the day. So if you fall asleep on your notes, do you think the information just gets absorbed into your brain while you sleep? Asking for a friend. I 
feel like my brain is going to explode. Studying for this final has absolutely killed me. Like, I feel like every time I try and memorize or learn about a new parasite, a virus falls out of my brain and I'm like, crap, now I have to go relearn that. I'm just tired. I went over everything twice. I was feeling confident and then I looked at our sample final and I almost cried, so. <laughs> Ugh, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully sleeping will just solidify the information in my brain. It'll stay in there. I'll know everything for tomorrow and everything will be fine. I don't think that's gonna happen, but that's okay. Anyway, it's bedtime. I will talk to you before I write this awful exam. Good morning. It is morning of pod test day one. I am freaking out. I haven't been this nervous about an exam probably since undergrad when I was applying to vet school. I kind of feel like I want to cry. I also kind of feel like I want to throw up and pee my pants, maybe all at the same time. I don't know, but I'm really scared. Uh, I'm just hoping it goes well. If it doesn't, well, whatever, but I'm scared. I need to go do some last minute prep and then I will talk to you after uh, this nightmare is over. So I just wrote day one of pod. Um, it was the hardest exam I've ever written. In vet school, in undergrad, it was so hard. There was some that I definitely knew for sure and I felt really confident about. Majority, honestly, I guessed for. There was a lot of educated guesses. There was some just straight up guessing. Literally no idea what the answer was. It's frustrating because It's frustrating because I don't really think this is a good way of testing our knowledge. Um, having to memorize hundreds of parasites, bacteria, and viruses for a three hour exam, like that doesn't define how good of a vet I'm gonna be. So it's just really frustrating as a student to study your butt off. Like this is the hardest I've ever studied for an exam and just not have it pay off. I mean, I don't know how I did. I don't get my mark back right away. I don't find out for another couple weeks, but it just felt like it didn't go very well. But but anyway, I'm probably gonna go take a shower and have a good cry and then take a couple hours off, but then I clearly need to go back and study a bunch of things because we have part two of this exam tomorrow. So I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen and try to be positive going into tomorrow's exam. Hello. So it is a little bit later now. I watched a lot of Big Bang Theory. I ate almost an entire bag of mini eggs. I vented to my friends about how hard this exam was and they said the same thing. So I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, it was a hard exam. It didn't go great, but I'm gonna try and put that behind me and get studying tonight so that hopefully tomorrow goes better. And if it doesn't, you know what? It is what it is. I know I studied really hard for it and that's all I can do. But with that being said, I realized I never broke down the pod exam. So before I get studying, I thought I would do that. So basically our principles of disease course is our heaviest course this semester. It is worth 2.75 credits. And just for comparison, one entire semester of my undergrad degree was worth 2.5 credits. So that just goes to show you how much information we're given in this course and how heavily this course is weighted versus a lot of our other courses in vet school. My second highest weighted course this year is 0.75 credits. Because there's so much content to cover, pod is a three-day exam. So I finished part one this morning and it is a three-hour written exam and the way that it's formatted is that we are given three different clinical scenarios and after each scenario we are given a set of questions that incorporate bacteriology, toxicology, virology, hematology, parasitology, and cytology. A lot of ologies. But basically all the questions relate back to the scenario and we have to use what we've learned in the course throughout the year and apply it to a clinical scenario. So we we get three of those scenarios. Each of the scenarios are worth 50 marks with the total exam being 150 marks. So that's part one. 
Part two is tomorrow morning and it's the exact same thing, exact same format. It's just three more scenarios. So part one and part two, we need a combined 60% on each exam to pass that part of the exam. If not, we have to rewrite the exam at the end of May. So fingers crossed, I don't have to do that because I will 100% cry if I do. But anyway, that's the written part of the pod exam. Then on Wednesday, we have the third and final part of our testing for this course, and it is a three hour multiple choice exam on all of the content that we've learned throughout the year. So yeah, that's how we are tested for our principles of disease course. It is hands down the hardest course I have ever taken. Today's exam was the hardest exam I've ever written, so I can't wait to do two more days of that, but that also means two more days and I am hopefully done with pod for forever. I'm gonna get studying so that I hopefully don't have to rewrite in May. Day two of pod, hopefully I don't cry. Three hours later. Two days of pod down, one to go. As you can tell, uh, today went a lot better. I'm not crying, so that's a good sign. The cases that we were given today, I just knew a lot more about. And that's the thing with these exams is you never know the cases that you're gonna get. You never know which pathogens they're gonna talk about. And obviously just going through the course, there's some that I know a lot better than others. And I think that's what happened yesterday was the entire exam was just pathogens or viruses that I wasn't super familiar with or I didn't take the time to really understand the mechanisms or they just didn't stick in my brain as well as some of the ones that we were asked about today. Today went so much better. There was a lot less focus on little specific details about testing timelines or virulence factors. I'm kind of glad we had the first exam be really tough and the second day be a lot better because I think had the first day gone really well and today had gone not so well, I would have been panicking because I still have the multiple choice exam to write tomorrow so I'm glad I finished today on a positive note and now I can go into the multiple choice exam tomorrow feeling more positive than I did yesterday. This is just a reminder that if you wrote an exam that didn't necessarily go the way you wanted it to or you feel like you didn't do as well as you possibly could have, don't let it affect you going forward. It is one test. That one test doesn't necessarily evaluate how smart you are, how well you know the content, or how good of a vet you are going to be. These past two days have been the perfect example because yesterday I left the exam feeling stupider than ever, uh, feeling like I wasn't going to make a good vet and feeling like I was probably going to have to rewrite these exams. But the questions that were on yesterday's test just didn't play to my strengths and didn't touch on the topics that I knew front and back. Whereas today the questions were so much better and made me feel so much more confident in my studying and the information that I retained throughout the year. So if an exam didn't go exactly the way you planned it don't stress take a couple hours to yourself do something that makes you feel better and put it behind you it's in the past you can't go back and change it and that mark or that grade that you get on that test is not going to define who you are as a person or who you're going to be as a vet so don't let it get you down that's the advice i needed to tell myself yesterday i clearly didn't take it because i ate an entire bag of mini eggs and cried in the shower so easier said than done but i promise you that one test does not define who you are or how capable you are as a student <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna take the rest of today off, I think. Our multiple choice exam for pod is not until one o'clock tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna spend the entire morning studying. I'm going to take a much needed break today. I feel like my brain can't handle any more pod, so I'll do a bunch of last minute studying tomorrow, but for today, no more studying. Good morning, it is the final day of pod. I'm so excited to be done with this course, be done studying this material. My exam isn't until one o'clock today, so I'm gonna spend the morning trying to read over some stuff. At this point, I feel like my studying is kind of pointless because I was ready for the exam on Monday. So the past couple days, I've just been like rereading stuff, hoping that more information will stick in my head, but I don't think it will at this point, but I'm gonna study anyway. Hopefully these next couple hours will go by quick and this day will be over. <sighs> I'm so happy. I am officially finished with my last pod exam. The multiple choice exam went pretty well. The questions were actually a lot easier than I thought. They went for most of them. Some of them I had no clue, but they actually were really fair with us. So I'm happy about that. Now that I am done pod, I have three exams next week and then I am officially done with second year of vet school. 
I can't believe it. I honestly feel so relieved that pod is over. I felt really burnt out like studying for pod, but now that it's over, even though I still have three exams left, I feel good to go. I'm ready to study. I'm ready to get second year over and done with. So I think I have quite a bit of finals content from the past two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I will film the rest of finals and put that in a finals vlog part two. So with that being said, I hope you guys got a better idea of what finals look like in vet school. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through the process. There was some tears, there was some happy moments, there was a lot of stress, but I am just three exams away from being halfway to a doctor, so that is pretty freaking cool. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next week for part two. Bye!